Give it some time for the deployment process to complete, then confirm that you see 100% under replacement in the traffic shifting section. Consider this. You have a Lambda function with versions and aliases, and now you want to deploy a new version using AWS Code Deploy. Can you do this in a few steps using the AWS console? Let's find out. Let's start by navigating to the Lambda service, then click on Create Function and give it a name. Choose Python from the Runtime dropdown, hit Create, then scroll down to the Code Source section. Here, I'm going to add version 1 to my return body string, hit Deploy, then navigate to the Versions tab. Click on Publish New Version, then specify a description. I'm going to enter v1, then hit publish. Let's head back to the code source tab and repeat this process to create a version 2 of our Lambda function. Now that we have two versions, let's head to the aliases tab, then click on create alias and give it a name. I'm going to call my alias beta and point it to the version 1 of my Lambda function, then hit save. Verify that the beta alias is pointing to version 1 in the function overview section, then let's head to the code deploy service. Click on create application, give it a name, then choose AWS Lambda from the compute platform dropdown. Hit create, then click on create deployment group and give it a name. Next, we need to create a new service role so that the code deploy service has permissions to deploy a new Lambda version. Head to the IAM service, go inside roles, then click on create role. Select code deploy for service, code deploy for Lambda as the use case, then click on next. Give your role a name, hit create, then copy the ARN. Let's head back to the code deploy tab and paste the ARN in the service role section. I'm going to leave the deployment configuration to deploy all at once, then hit the create button. Looks like the deployment group name is invalid because it had a space. Let's fix that, then hit the create button again. Next, click on create deployment, then change the revision type to app spec editor. Next, I'm going to select YAML for app spec language, then copy paste an example from this AWS guide. Under properties, let's specify the name and the alias of the Lambda function that we just created. I'm going to leave the current version to one and target version to two, then hit the create deployment button. Give it some time for the deployment process to complete, then confirm that you see 100% under replacement in the traffic shifting section. This means that the 100% of our beta traffic is now going to the version 2 of our Lambda function. Let's confirm this by going back to the Lambda tab, then hit refresh, and you should see the beta alias now pointing to version 2. We can also verify this by going to the test tab, then hit the test button to invoke your beta alias. In the execution logs, confirm that you see version 2 in the body output. There you have it. But before you go, here's a question for you. Why did the AWS code deploy agent get kicked out of the party?